What is going on guys today? We are looking at Future Star. I'm going to call him Pe Purvis because I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Obviously, he is Ecuadorian and he is again another La Liga. It would have been pretty cool to be able to do the front three that I've done to start with with Oscar Rodriguez, with um, Lainez and then obviously Purvis himself. Would have been quite nice, but I'm thinking three reviews in one team sometimes gets a bit bit clogged i don't know how you feel about it i personally like to do two at a maximum sometimes i do three if i'm just getting clips and then trying to do it kind of like post com because you can kind of cut and paste and, and move them around and you can do more matches whereas when you're live coming i'm trying to keep them separate and really kind of bring in their own clips as such and it's why i like doing more defenders and attackers so we have as you can see got jonathan davis coming up he probably will be before this guy so i'm obviously doing this review to start with and then jonathan davis will be next we're working our way through this will be the third and fourth review so sit back and enjoy purvis then five nine high medium left footed free star free star no real traits on him um we've got villarreal obviously ecuadorian my man great pace straight off the bat loving that no finishing wow 25 finishing i don't think i've seen it that low before um long pass short pass looking pretty good um crossing's looking pretty decent left wing back material maybe we've obviously got a bit of dribbling 83s and above composures at 83 i can give and take it being an 86 and coming in at what 56k it's relatively okay. I think 56k is relatively decent for someone like this. Um, defensive stance, incredible. You look at that standard and slide tackle. Someone obviously has already put a backbone on him. So if we want to have a quick look at Footbin, just to see what they suggest in terms of a chemistry style, because I have my theories. Yeah, and I am correct. Anchor would be one to go for it. Give him 97 pace, 90 defending, and 91, uh, 91 physical. With a backbone, that gives him passing, physical, and defending. Turns a bit of a 90 left back. I suppose that's not actually that bad, actually. 90, what is it? 90 long pass, 90, uh, 80 vision, 99 stand, 95 slide, with 89 strength and 93 aggression. I can... S I can see where they've gone with that. We'll try it out. We'll try the backbone to start with. I'm interested to see if that actually got if that actually does anything. To be honest, good physicals overall looks a solid card. I, I think the only thing you're going to have problems with is a link in him. Obviously, we have the icons here just to kind of box him in a corner, but you could quite easily do it. I think we've got plenty of La Liga players that we could link him in um, into like a little box. He only needs two links, and you're absolutely sorted. So let's jump into the game with him and see what he can do. Pervin take two. One, two, lovely. Three, four, five. Ah, oh, nearly got there with a six. Trying to get him to, to get that crossing. Pervin. It definitely should be out being Pogba by quite some bit. It seems his agility, well, in, in terms of his balance, not the greatest. He is a little bit clunky to turn, which is pretty expected. He's not necessarily the the most ability when it comes to dribbling but re i really thought he would be a tad bit better ouch that's a rocket and a half wow pervin he's got to watch that adama spin it's a lovely turn from him great block in the end from varan but again I'm not, I'm not too sure about the left back. I feel like he's relatively okay, but there is aspects that I'm really not liking about him. Perfect with the head. It's got to be good winner. That's what I like to see. Finally getting something done in the game. You'd love to see it. Can we get a little run from him as well? Go with a little one-two. You know, you love to see it. There it is. Whip that ball in. Oh, good block from Virgil. And he comes back to the block. That's much more like it. Pervin, great challenge. And gets the winners. That uh, gets the seconds. That's what I want to see. Get a through ball into De Bruyne. Lovely stuff. Get a little heel to heel. Oh, maybe not. Whips a ball in. Far too close to the keeper. Pervin's made that run. Gets it into De Bruyne. Much better. His passing's quite nice, actually. Can we get a little across goal? No, not quite. Pervin again. Sees him out. 
Oh, he's just making that too easy to find De Bruyne every single time. Pervin with a head. Got to be win. Every time. Every time. He's better at the fundamentals than he is anything else. I feel like kind of like jockeying and dribbling. Not his forte in, in quite a heavy way. But in terms of tackling, pace, it, it's good. Run. Pervin, I'm, I was hoping more uh, more of a counter-attacking player. Someone you can lob out to and you can really kind of put the pressure on straight away with like one pass. He can do that, but in terms of speed, I don't know if I'm that impressed with 80, what was 86 that could turn into 90-something. So going into the overall, I keep calling him Pervin. I've realized it's Purvis, and, and that was in another review, I think, anyway. But Purvis is coming in at 56 still. Let's just double-check. I think I'm selling mine for about 37, so hopefully we can get that gone and lose as minimal tax as possible. 63k on the PlayStation still. What can I say about him? I've, I wanted more from him. I did want more from him. His pace seemed okay, but he didn't really feel like he could get past many people, if you know what I mean. He felt like he was being caught so much, and he already had that 92 pace, plus the added bonus of the anchor taking up to 97. I thought he would be absolutely away with wind, and honestly, he was getting tackled left, right, and center. I think you will have seen in the clips that it's just constantly kind of like pushing forward one and twos, not really being able to actually sprint with him. In terms of his move, his movement, his kind of animations, a little bit shocking, a little bit robotic. It did take a little bit to turn. Obviously, his ball control, even in, even if it is 85 doesn't feel that way he still feels like a common moving around which is obviously unfortunate he is a 79 common so he has gone up seven ratings which isn't the most in comparison to some we've obviously got silvers going up to like 87 we've got one uh, 80 i think it was a 67 silver now is 91 in Reina. there is plenty of players that that make that transition but necessarily it doesn't turn into a good card overnight it kind of takes time to get used to him and you kind of make him into a good card he's still got the animations i think from his gold common and it really really has an effect on him playing left back he's great at tackling great at getting the ball back but in terms of pushing forward there's just non-existent and unless you are just solely left back you do not want him going forward then for me this guy isn't your man i'd be going for definitely somebody else even in la liga i'd be going for mendy 83 rated will cost you literally half the price i mean he's coming at 56 my, uh, mendy's coming in at 10 he's personally my left back still and he is absolutely fantastic obviously if you did a kuna then absolutely congrats to you because there's a massive massive upgrade and even then i wouldn't be looking at this card if i was already having a kuna in my team um we've got alba i haven't really used him even though we packed him untradeable haven't really used him yet but yes i i was annoyed that i expected more from him he hasn't really done too much in terms of career obviously a lot of these future star lads this is like his first second third or even just fourth career career kind of fifa so it's interesting to see where they're going to grow and i think that's why I like doing these future stars to look back in a year and see what they've done. We got Phil Fodd in one year, we got Trent, we've had Greenwood. Where are they from now to then? I'm interested to see where this guy lands up. And same with Jonathan David. Really, really enjoyed that card in this review. And I think you'd have already heard that one from the prior video, which should have been his review. But overall, for this card, I'm just not too impressed. I feel like there's plenty of better left backs out there for literally, like I say, 10k. And you can go get Furlan Mendy, French links, absolutely incredible. Links to Varane perfectly and is a much, much better player. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. And if you want to subscribe as well, watch you there. We're going to be cracking on with the fifth and sixth review coming very, very shortly. Whether it's in the morning or still after this one will be a kind of deciding vote as it is getting late. Hopefully you did enjoy. See you for the next one. Peace.